Look, I, I have been a lifelong Republican. I still very much consider myself a lifelong Republican. I will be voting for Hillary Clinton this time, and, and, and I'll explain exactly why. Look, there are many choices in front of the voters. You can vote for the two main candidates in Trump and Clinton. There are some interesting minor candidates, the Libertarian and the Greens. There's this new person, Ed McMullen, who looks also very interesting. So there's many choices for, for candidates, for the voters out there. But there's only one of two people are going to win. There's only either Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump is going to be the next president. So for me, it's just a very practical consideration. Which one of those two do you want to be president? And for me, there's no question in all my mind that Hillary Clinton is the best choice for America. You've said that, that your decision was kind of a two-step process, if you will. One was deciding not to vote for Donald Trump, and the second part of that is deciding to, to vote for Hillary Clinton. What put you over the edge, Frank? What was it that, that was beyond the pale to the point where you could not vote for Donald Trump? What was it? Was it one singular thing? Yeah. Well, initially, he made some very strong statements that I just viewed as, if not, if not advocating a kind of bigotry, certainly associated himself in general with bigoted themes. And those, those were his comments about Muslims, his comments about Mexicans. And I thought that was just inappropriate for someone who wants to hold the highest office in our country to, to, to espouse that kind of rhetoric was not constructive and that person would not make a good president. You've got to be inclusive. You've got to reach out. You've got to treat everybody with respect even though there are some very serious issues out there. So that I found immediately uninviting about Donald Trump. But you're right, it was a second set of issues about then how did I warm toward Hillary Clinton? And that had to do uh, mainly with some of the foreign policy statements she was making. That's a very important set of issues to me. But she believes in alliance solidarity, that international engagement. And I thought Donald Trump was very dismissive of important building blocks of U.S. foreign policy that presidents from all across the political spectrum had supported over 70 years. NATO, the Japanese security relationship, the Korean security relationship, nuclear proliferation issues. And I, in my view, Donald Trump was quite quite cavalier in uh, suggesting that Korea or Japan might develop nuclear capabilities, and that would not be a constructive step.